Hello there, Geminis, and welcome to your April 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas's Tarot page. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Geminis, what we will do here, we will look at the overall energy for the month of April for your sign of Gemini. Before we then go and look at your emotional core, let's just see what's happening here. Um, so that means, you know, what can go emotionally, what needs to be released, or maybe there's love coming in, right? We'll see when we get there. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of April. And opportunities, for the most part, um, are about what sustains you financially, right? So let's jump right in, Geminis. Let's have a look at your overall energy for the month of April 2021. Now, you have the spirit of nurture and the shaman of sorrows. So, you have the spirit of nurture. What the guides are saying to you is, first and foremost, for the month of April, is to understand that one issue that Gemini as a sign or, or Gemini as a person have is that you oftentimes nurture a lot of other people before you nurture yourself um, and you sometimes do not really function so well when you feel you're entirely on your own which has to do with the fact that you're Gemini which is the sign of the twins and therefore in a, in a roundabout way the twin is always missing Right, if that makes sense. So when you look at the story of um, how your your sign was named, um, Zeus had two kids, uh, two boys. One was made with a human, and one was made with a goddess. And so, therefore, one was mortal and one was not. Now they were called Castor and Pollux, and Castor was the child that was made with the goddess. And so, Castor said to his dad, right. Zeus, I want Pollux to be with me forever. And then Zeus said, mm, can't be done. He's made with a human. <laughs> right? And so um, Castor got really upset and said, but I want him to be there forever. And then Zeus repeated that, that it cannot be done because he is not immortal. And then Zeus, being a god and all, <laughs> offered the both of them, or the two of them, an option. And the option was that they're no longer here in physical form, but that they can be together as stars, which became the brightest stars in the constellation of Gemini, Castor and Pollux. Um, so they are Zeus' children. And the reason why this had to happen is because Pollux is immortal. So what Zeus literally said is, to Castor and Pollux, you can be together much longer than human lifespans allow. You can be together for 10 million years and then you will both burn out, right? And the reason why I mention this is because for Geminis in the month of April, it seems somehow important to understand that sometimes Geminis, you have the tendency to feel incredibly alone, incredibly unfulfilled with everything. And you would do well, therefore. That's all you need. You need a twin. All you need, literally, is one good friend, one person. Because as a Gemini, you will also not be the person that can be the life of the party at all times, right? And because you have the spirit of nurture, what the universe is saying to you is, right, Nurture yourself because you cannot wait or hope for any other person to make sense for you or to make sense uh, of that life that you live for you, right? Because ultimately, while it is nice to have someone around, you're clever enough, deep enough to sort things out by and for yourself, right? Because you have the shaman of sorrows. And that really means that April will be a month, and I'm sure it's not going to be the whole month, but it will be a month where you are being asked to look at 
how happy you are inside yourself how do i feel inside myself is that core of mine a happy core right if that makes sense um where am i in the scheme of things so this is a month for reflection um for gemini it's really really important to reflect okay now we're looking into your emotions and as you could tell the guys have already sort of started <laughs> looking at your emotions and you have the polar bear and the wood duck now of all the bears out there, the polar bear is the most vulnerable, right? And the wood duck is an animal in the depiction here that hmm, needs to wait before the wood duck can swim, if that makes sense, right? So, but you have the depiction of a, an adult wood duck. Let me just hold this here, right? What they're saying to you is allow yourself this month in the month of april 2022 for the signs of gemini allow yourself to understand that you are healing right and that you allow yourself to go through that healing and maybe even reach out if healing uh, is needed and you probably are a person that goes like you know maybe i should look into um uh, soul retrieval maybe i should look into past life equation all these things are there for you to come back if that makes sense so allow yourself to be vulnerable but also understand that there's no quick fixes for gemini's anywhere with regards to your emotional core in the months of april 2022 now you have the wood duck as the outgoing animal of the energy and the wood duck denotes patience so while you may feel feeling totally shit here <laughs> feeling totally drained right you won't feel drained forever but you have to allow yourself to cry things out to release things and that is really important for gemini's as well to understand that not not all gemini's are super gifted when it comes to understanding that sometimes you have to come first, right? Really, really important to keep yourself afloat. Really, really important. But when it comes to releasing what can go now, this will be a bit of a longer journey for you, right? And yet you will get through this as usual. Now, finally, let's look at the, um, the opportunities as to present themselves to you in the month of April. 2022 for the sign of gemini you are watching thomas's tarot page with myself thomas Yannick. please like subscribe and share and then um, if you like my work you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas now with regards to opportunities you have the mouse and the deer while opportunities are not flying in <laughs> right <clears throat> the mouse is basically saying i'm a rodent that is not scared of heights right so therefore whatever is already in the the realm of manifestation whatever you have already started manifesting so and whatever is coming your way you will see a mile away you already have a really good idea whether or not the position you're in is working Right? And what I'm getting here, and remember it's a general reading, so it might not resonate with all of you, but what I'm getting for the energy of Gemini is to understand that mm, you will do better, even though Gemini is missing the twin, you will oftentimes do better when nobody tells you how to run your day. Right? And the mouse is saying, right, opportunities can come your way when you're focusing right and the the first focus that they're asking you to have is literally to understand i get it right i have to create my own future here i can't wait for opportunities to find me i have to make them work at the same time you have the muldia is the outgoing energy so the mouse is saying look you know whatever comes your way you see it and the deer is saying yeah and i can stay calm about it so on the one hand side, they ask you to be, to be a bit more proactive. On the other hand side, they're not asking you to be super proactive about things. Ultimately, because you see the world exactly the way it is, um, and you can really 
assess situations and then make changes rather quickly, you will not be stuck anywhere once you understand, you know what, I have survived everything. There's always a way out of situations that aren't really working for me, right? And then you have the mool deer, like I said, as the animal that says, like, you know, just, just relax around stuff. And because you have antlers, antlers are a sign of protection. So when it comes to new opportunities, you're not at any risk, really, and it's really speaking with regards to having the mool deer here, um, to sort of, it's just a phrase, be under a bridge and be totally cut off from anything that works, if that makes sense, right? Um, life continues, and because you're in it, um, you know, it continues well. And so, again, it feels to me that, that what is really important for, for Geminis to understand is that your soul sometimes can feel incomplete, and when there is no real guidance from anyone, you might not trust your own guidance. And all the guides are saying is you got the mouse, right? You see the world exactly the way it is. Nobody else has to has to um, help you with assessing this. Nobody else has to confirm that for you. And there might, in fact, not be anyone to confirm that for you. This is an inside job for you to understand that. Gemini's, that's all we got time for. I see you all next month. Bye-bye.